Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with a short video with tips and tricks of how to make an underwater viewing gallery for these aquatic animals. This one is basically a follow-up of the first video I've made a few months ago with the underwater viewing galleries, the basics. So I highly recommend you to watch that one if you in general just want to know more of how to build underwater viewing galleries. This one is just an addition on that video of tips and tricks how you can build an underwater viewing for aquatic animals that need deeper habitats for diving. So without further talking, let's jump into it. So what is very important for your underwater viewing for the penguin, the seal, the caiman and the giant otter at this point is to make sure they have enough room to dive. Now the animals all need water that is four meter deep or deeper, but there is also this thing called the underwater feeder and this feeder actually needs more space than that. So what we can tell is right over here, you can see that the feeder is still ready and here it is not deep enough. So if I go down a little tiny bit again to make sure that it is ready, right like this, and we then take a wall, for example, and we're going to take a one meter wall. So now we have the Australia wood wall uh, for one meter. And then we raise it with your shift button right to here. So this is one meter, two meters, three, four, five, six. So basically five and a half meters is basically what you need for your habitat and your water section in order to make sure that the fish feeder is also able to work. So. For animals itself, you need four meter deep water for them to dive. But for the fish feeder to also work, you need at least five and a half to six meters deep to make it work. So simply said, we're going to use this wall uh, to make sure that we get the right height in our water section for a habitat. So you can either do both ways. You can either uh, build and go up from here or you can go down from here. So let's first start with going down right over here. These are only the basics I'm going to show you. I'm obviously not going to do a tutorial of how to decorate it. That is all up to you. But to show you how this works pretty easily, just make sure that you go right down to at least the minimum height, but you can go deeper. That is totally fine. But this is going to help you with making sure that your habitat is deep enough in order for the fish feeder to work. So if we now fill this up with water, just like that, you can tell that it's a little bit peeking out, but we have a lot. We also have some room underneath here, so we can just basically lower this into the ground if you want to, but you're going to delete it anyways after all. So if we now get the underwater box feeder right over here, this is the right height for the feeder to work. And then you can, uh, yeah, well, build a habitat out of this. You can build an underwater viewing gallery really easily if you just remove the water right over here and you would lower the terrain just like this. And obviously you're going to decorate this very nicely, just as an example right over here. So now we're going to build a barrier and uh, we're going to pick the thick glass just because we can. And now we select everything. We go up right over here could be a little bit lower maybe and we just continue on that side and now we put down a path on this side so now we have our path ready make sure that this is the right level of height because else you will not be able to put the water at the exact level as you just had it so make sure that it is the right height on these sides right over here. So it's closed off. Then you just add water in here just like that. And your feeder should be still working and you have a very cool underwater viewing gallery. You obviously don't have to uh, have the whole wall as underwater viewing gallery. You can always also have it like for half a glass panel and the rest is just underneath the ground. And for example, you can use this one, as I mentioned, like this, and then you make sure that you have the right height. So you just make sure that you reach the top right over here. I think that's fine already. I think we're going to raise this a little tiny bit more to make sure that it's the right height. 
And then basically all you need to do is just make sure that you have a wall. Select everything, go up. Okay, so now we're going to fill this in with water right over here. And this should again be enough for your feeder. Put it down. And the feeder is ready and you have the right height for your habitat. So as you can tell, sometimes you still have the right height, but you still have this in orange. If this is in orange, you just need to make sure that you make the area that is the right depth that that one is bigger. So that is the only thing you need to do, just like this water section. So swimming area that needs to be wider, but then it also needs to have at least four meters in depth to make sure that this turns in green, but it's still able to dive because it only needs four meter to be able to dive. So make sure as long as you see this in 100%, but this is orange, then you just need to make sure that you make your habitat, your water section a little bit bigger in your habitat. And that's all you need to do. So as said, these are just two very simple ways of how to make sure that your water is deep enough for the feeder to work and also for your animals to be able to dive. But as said, I already made a video with how to make viewing galleries and more interesting viewing galleries. So I highly recommend you to also watch that video in the description down below or with the I button in the corner of this video to learn more about how to make underwater viewing galleries. So and if you want to make some kind of cool bridges like this and you want to make sure that the animals are able to dive underneath it, which they can actually in the game, which is super cool. Just make sure you have a four by four by four meter box that is going to fit in between there and you are basically good to go. So let's make a box real quick and we're going to use another floor just to make sure this is a four by four by four meter box. And you just make sure that this one fits in between what you're going to build. Just if you want to build something like this, just make sure that you have a four by four by four box and just build around it. And in this this way, you are 100% sure that the animals are able to go underneath it without any issues. So that is really, really cool to know. So I really do hope that this was a useful tips and tricks video for you to create your own underwater viewing galleries for the aquatic pack animals. As mentioned earlier, if you want to learn the basics of underwater viewing galleries, I highly recommend you to also watch my other tutorial about how to make underwater viewing galleries in general. And uh, yeah, keep those six meters in mind if you are making an underwater viewing gallery or just a habitat that should be deep enough for diving animals. Just keep these tips in your mind and you will be good to go. Make sure to leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content on the channel, have fun building your awesome and amazing underwater viewing galleries for these awesome aquatic animals. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.